Cliff, go away. You're giving me indigestion. You don't seem to have gotten my message, Mr. Barnes. West Star Oil does not reward losers. That's all right with everybody. It's not okay with me because I'm going home. H-O-M-E, home. Cliff, you mean you don't want to be with us when we strike it rich? R-I-C-H. You don't want to get your hands on all those green, sparkling emeralds coming straight out of the earth? Well, Tell you, I can't wait to get home. Make some clean sheets, indoor plumbing, my VCR. Wife? Yeah, my wife. Oh, yeah, you bet. Pam. And I was an eagle town. No, you weren't. <laughs> I wanted to be. The Hill. Capitol Hill. Good. Who wants to contribute what? That's good. That's fine, because it's important that we do this thing right. We've got to get into Washington. We've got to stir up excitement. We've got to let them have it. Uh, there's a reporter from Channel 12 on the phone. They heard about the lobby. I'll tell you. You know, you get a good idea. And news travels like wildfire. If you'd like to do an on-camera interview. Okay, tell him I'll be with him in a minute. You know, I got a feeling I'm going to spend a lot of my time with these guys. Uh, Cliff, I'm sorry, but he didn't ask for you. He'd like to speak to Mrs. Krebs. Oh, you want to handle that? You're going to want to approve every deal I make? No, just the ones you want money for. Oh, God. Don't know. Is it me? If it was you, I'd tell you I don't know. But all I know is it's just not working. It hasn't been working since you lost that court battle. Maybe losing it like that affected you physically. Glad my mother isn't alive to see me lose everything I've built. I would say that I don't want any advice about the oil business, especially from a female, more especially from you. The reason you couldn't perform in bed is because you're a whiny little boy who doesn't even know how to be a man. What the hell is going on here? I mean, we had a deal. You know, you promised to sell to a bar instead of you. That's why I gave you all the money. You know, Cliff Barnes, you are the sorriest excuse for a man that I have ever met. Well, I'll second that. Look, well, get lost, dear. I'm talking to my wife. Good <laughs> Lord, you're not going back with this ambulance, are you? You're a loser, Barnes. You always were. You always will be. Uh, I hear you had lunch with Jordan Lee yesterday. That's right. What'd you talk about? Oil business. Oh. Well, that's nice. I'm glad you had a good time. You miserable little worm. Why can't you just admit that you blew all of the money? Not to mention the extra two million I gave you that you denied ever getting to Jordan. Damn, listen. Oh, who the hell's gonna give me that kind of money in a week? I think I'm in trouble. No, I can see where this conversation is going, and I told you before that it is out of the question. I'm with you, but what kind of a man is going to use his sister as a spy? You didn't have many friends then. People didn't treat you very well. Are you threatening me? Well, what? Where's the rest of it? Give me a... I thought you'd be impressed. You really don't trust me. I mean, what kind of a person do you think I am, huh? You're a loser. And I don't have any room in my life for losers. Uh, Mr. Barnes, why don't you have a seat? Oh, yeah. Uh, your assets are solid, and uh, we'd be happy to accommodate you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you certainly won't regret this, Mr. Well, you should have the six million within about 30 days. 30 days? No, no. You don't understand. I need it now. Mr. Barnes, we are swamped with loan applications. Well, what can we do to speed my law? We can. Well, sure you can. It's just what it'll cost me. Cost you? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I'm beginning to. Well, there's nobody here. You and me in the world, baby. Oh, so just name it right. Mr. Barnes. I have never taken a bribe. 
I suggest you take your offer someplace else. There are plenty of banks in this town that are ready to do business with Cliff Barney. <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you something else. It'll be cold day in Bermuda before I walk back into this bank again. Well, let us pray the Ice Age never comes again. Have a good day, Mr. Barnes. Yeah. How could you jeopardize what Mama left you? Huh? Mama's company, Wentworth Tool and Die. Oh, God. No, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. See, I can explain. You're talking about my means of getting my loan repaid. You brought that about by your own stupidity. Hey, you had no business going to my sister for that money. I had every intention of paying you back. And now with your meddling, you have alienated the one person that matters. Who is that? Your financier? Ha, 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 ha. No, that's the only person I have left that I really care about. You brought it on yourself by lying to cover your inadequacies and then not being clever enough to carry that off. I would have paid you back! Well, they say human race will be extinct too. But of course, that's not a problem that concerns you. Oh, you're very smug, aren't you? You think you're untouchable. I want to tell you something, Wendell. I'll get you. I promise you, I will get you back when you least expect it! Mr. Barnes, Mr. Wendell, please. Uh, uh, it's all right, Dora May. I think you'd better cancel my reservation. I'm not going to eat here tonight. Ambient sleeves a bit to be desired. Of course, Mr. Wendell. Perhaps another evening. I don't let him, huh? It's the loser, isn't it? I can't do that. I'll put it away in a trust fund for Christopher. Look, we've been through this before. Look, ask me anything else. I'll give you more shares of Barnes Redwood, but not the 10%. Then don't tell me that you want to make up. But I do, but just don't ask me to give up the one thing that means the most to me. Revenge! You know, that 10% is mine. You know, I know that you don't think that I deserve anything to... But, but, uh... Fam? Oh, I'm sorry, Cliff. I wasn't listening. Uh, so you mean everything's mine? You mean I get the 10% and the $2 million? Uh, Mr. Barnes, if the circumstances are indeed as I've described, yes, 10% and the $2 million will be 100% yours. <laughs> okay. Why? Why would I? I, mean, I was glad to give Jamie some kind of happiness. She needed some after that little twerp Barnes dumped all over. I resent that. Mr. Barnes? No. Well, I've had time to think. I realize now what a Terrible thing I did to April. This is all just a setup by J.R. Ewing. You are here to cheat me. You don't deserve a penny of it, you little slime. Who are you calling names? You, Mr. Barnes. I was a good husband to your sister. You were a poor excuse for a husband. Jack Ewing share, 5%, Ewing oil, will remain where it presently is, in the estate, Jamie Ewing Barnes, with its heir, Cliff Barnes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my God, do you believe that? Wait a minute, Judge, you can't do that. All rise. Court is adjourned. Uh, excuse oh. me. <laughs> Cliff, if you're here to gloat, I'm going to tear you apart. No, 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 I'm a gracious winner. I just came to offer you my condolences. Shut up, Cliff. Okay. I am the winner! I'm the winner! What are you up to now? Do you want to hear the message? No, not really, but go ahead. You know what those balloons are filled with, J.R.? Not hot air, which is what you always thought I was full of. No, they're filled with laughing gas. And I'm laughing my head off because I just made the biggest natural gas strike in the history of Texas. And I was sure that you would want to be the first one to know. <laughs> Get this girl. Mr. Barnes? I'm Casey Denault. Mm-hmm. That's supposed to mean something to me. <laughs> no, sir, but your name means something to me. Oh, you hit the biggest natural gas field in Texas, didn't you? Yeah, I did, didn't I? 
bitter, bitter little man. You want to buy my gas field? We want Barnes Wentworth and everything that goes with it, except, of course, you. Get out. We will make you richer than you ever dreamed possible. You're not hearing me. I said, get out. I'll tell you something right now. This company is not for sale. Not now, perhaps. But just think about it. Just think about it. Because, you see, somehow or other, you will lose it all. You watch me. I almost got this last right away, right in my back pocket. I do want to invite this one person personally. Ah, uh, must be female. <laughs> you remember Lisa Alden? That cute little blonde thing? Ah, uh, I remember. That is disconnected. Maybe she changed numbers. Maybe I dialed wrong. You try. Maybe she moved. She wouldn't have moved without telling me. I want you out of here now. I don't want to be out I want to tell you something else. you forever. Are you what? Howard Creighton's on the phone and he'd like to speak to you. I got it. I got it. Hello. Hello. I can't find him. Just tell him I'll call him back. Well, Cliff, I'm worried about you. I'm fine. I wish you'd go see my doctor. I saw a doctor. And what did he tell you? He told me that he... He's not going to give me any more tranquilizers. Well, I don't blame him. They're no good for you. I'll just go... To, uh, find something to do. Uh, make me an appointment. I won't be long. You're the boss. I mean, you really think that I am going to give you a variance? When you consider that up to 50 cents a barrel could go towards your political war chest, yes, I think so. I don't need any money in my war chest, and I don't need you, I don't need Westar, I don't need anybody. Mm -mm. No, and you can forget about your variance. And if you step out of line one little bit with that strike, I will shut you down. You can put that in the bank. So why don't you take your fully documented information and go blow it out your exhaust? You know, you're as big a loser as everybody says you are. The higher he climbs, the more insufferable he becomes. He's more lovable as a loser than as a winner. <laughs> Two of my favorite people having dinner together. Buzz off, Barnes. Can't you see we're having a private conversation? I can see that. 
Why do I think you're talking about me? Cliff, why don't you go somewhere else and be miserable? I am the energy czar, and uh, I can make this worth your while. I really can. You pathetic little man. You've got 24 hours. No more. Would you believe anything McKay tells you? Because Liz hates me and she wanted to stick it to me. I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. You know, I've had it with you. I should just get out of here. I'm out of here. Good. Go stick your nose in somebody else's business. Just get out of here and leave me alone. You should have seen that office when I finished. <laughs> I wish you would have been there to see it. Yeah? Well, I hope you didn't mess it up too much. I was planning on you that. You know, another nail in JR's coffin, me in his office. It may take a while to put it back together. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna worry about that. Hey, put your drink down. Come on over here and sign these contracts. Right there, sign right there. That's good. Not here. And then we gotta get these things signed. Then. We're going to go out and do something. Uh, uh, do you know what's funny? No, what's funny? Is that everybody thinks that I am just a dumb blonde who doesn't know anything at all about business. I never said that. Not to me, maybe. But it's very funny. Well, why is it funny? Because I just sold you 50% of viewing oil for what I pay for all of it. You kidding me? You couldn't have gotten it that cheap. <laughs> sure, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just a blonde. <laughs> Barnes is so dumb, he doesn't know that. He got it from you. Because you were so ticked off with me that you had to get even. I'm beginning to think you enjoy being a loser. That's a hell of a thing to say to me. I've been working my buns off to try to make something of myself. But you... No, no, not me. Don't lay that guilt trip on me. It's you. You are addicted to losing. Get out of here, Cliff. I can't stand the sight of you anymore. Hey, hey double for me. If I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all.